Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Genk have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So it's down to business here. Across the field it goes. Genk haven't lost any of their last five home games. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Just brushed off the ball there. Dashing forward at pace. He's picked him out. He's on his way. Big chance! One on one! He's looking to get there first. Hit into... Heads it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Chooses to go back. In with the challenge. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He's gone for the shots. Turns and goes back. It's one! And it's played forward. Defenders on the back foot. A 
El Sharawi. He's a clever pass. It's a great, real chance! And the ball's come out. Nil-nil still. I like the chances, though. Well, they could have had a bit more joy earlier if they'd varied their game and, and played a longer ball forward. I think this is looking much more promising now. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Could move up a gear here. Plays it out to the flank. He's had a shot! And that's a half-decent try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work out. to get it forward quickly it's found its way to him uh, needed a better pass there gets it back well, that's a foul free kick's been given battles to win it back lobs it in gently Plays it back, tries to cross, and the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Keeper sends it forward. Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Rouge put themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Well, that had to be more accurate. Now the counter. El Sharawi. Looking to get within range. Has a hit! It's there! And already they're looking to run away with it. Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. So that's two now without reply. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hoists it forward. This is counter-attack chance for Bruges. He's got options out wide. That'll go straight through to the keeper. That's a throw. Oh, good 
steal. He just read it. Played out to the right. Or keeper's ball. Mitrovic. Forward it goes. Out to the right. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And we've reached half time. See the views on the first half. Oh, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence the change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Rouge sitting pretty here at half time. 2 0 up. And we're off again. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. And that is as far as they're going to go. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. That. I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Genk can make their change now with uh, a break in play. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half just to give them the confidence and belief to push on and look for an equaliser. Looking for a decent ball in. Bruges have it back and they can go again. And here's El Sharawi. Has a hit! Balls out on the left now. That has been clubbed away. A throw in. Looks to clip it forward. Defending of the desperate variety. We sit high. Rouge look to me as if they've been rocked by that goal. Yeah, they say that 2 0 is a dangerous lead to have. But he's had a goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. For a change in personnel. Mitrovic. Forward it goes. Looking to break out here.
That could spell trouble. Breaks on here. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Now a chance to break. Played into space out wide. Sharawi gets it back, plays it out to the flank. Oh, good interception. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's being closed down first. It's a loose ball. Rouge have a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Chance from here, but not the kindest angle. So, who is the target now? He's having a look at what's available. There's going to be another change here. Bruges are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Tries to get it forward quickly. Time is ebbing away, but it feels like an eternity when you're holding on to a slender lead. Cleared away. Throw in. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. That's a foul. No two ways about it. Referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Driven straight at the wall. It's anyone's ball. And the weighted puck goes for goal. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Battles to win it back. Genk have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. There's a long ball.
hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. So that's it, it is all over. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch, just one between them. Your final thoughts, Jim? When you get free-flowing football out wide with consistent supply into the box, it brings excitement and entertainment to the proceedings. And that was a brilliant display of, of good wing play for me. And I just really liked what I saw here. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.
Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. The clouds yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Rouge have opted for a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works. It's still valid and... I think we're going to see it be successful here. And that gets things running. And it's Robin. Rouge are unbeaten in their last five here. Header! It's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Rouge will try it again now. Massive leap! And oh! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, his reaction to that was ultra sharp, Peter. His anticipation is in fine working order. to get it forward quickly out to the right in it comes Al Sharawi Van Persie and he's cut it out. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Rouge picked up all three points from their previous game. The win, however narrow, really important. Quick ball forward. Rouge, oh, very much the team that started on the front foot. Yeah, whether they've been allowed to set the standards or not, they're setting them, and a goal has to follow. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And he's going long. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Now it's Robert. A buccaneering run from the defender. Has a hit! It's anyone's ball. And he heaves it forward. A 
shot. Oh, and another time. And it's a goal. And Percy with a predatory goal. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? Bruges take the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Al Sharawi. Van Persie. Now it's Rob. That is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Yeah, tempted and teased the keeper into thinking he could get to it, but it just eased away to catch the inside of the post. Rouge. Have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Gets the better of his man. Gets it back. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, Dwight have opted to really stretch the game there. I mean, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Oh, good take in a good area. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Robin. He's looking to get there first, and they've been caught out here. Tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. And it's Van Persie. El Sharawi. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. And we've reached half time. Reflections on the first half. Rouge just didn't want the half-time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Rouge are in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal push. <laughs> that's the start of another 45 minutes. No changes at the interval from either side. That always looked inevitable. 
The defence dealt with that really well. Now a chance to break. He's gone for it! Plays it out to the wing. That's Van Persie, Quartrike, that's their manager to thank for the last result. Yeah, his hand was forced somewhat, Peter, because of the circumstances. He had to bring on goal scorers, but he was bold in going for broke to get what he wanted, and not many would have done that. Hoists it forward. Battles to win it back. Bruges with this two-goal lead. Yeah, certainly looking much the more assured side. And it's played forward. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Robin. And a goal kick. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Van Persie. A real chance to break. Played into space out wide. It's a brilliant interception. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. Now it's Van Persie. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. That's going to be a booking. Bruges with a chance here to increase their lead. Bruges with a free kick. Robin! Going through, gets wrestled off the ball. Now that does look a foul, referee's given a free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Robin being applauded off here, having made a sizable contribution. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Van Post, it's Van Persie! He 
push it over to the other flank. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Van Persie, oh he's broken, he's gone for it! Just brushed off the ball there. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Through ball is intercepted. And he's shown him a clean pair of here. And the shot! Goalkeeper's oh, ball. And the referee brings it to a close. This win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Thank you your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim. Bruges will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset. So, just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.
Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And already we're underway here. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right. He couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Forward it goes has gone out tries to get it forward quickly Bruges were imperious when the two sides last met and the fans are asking for more of the same Baslan Beveren, sneaker before, and the finish! That has sent him sprawling. And it's Al Sharawi. It's on a plate! Bruges have created a real intensity from the start, and there's no sign of any let up. Right through the middle. Just the keeper to beat! He's had a shot! Oh, the ball's come loose! He's looking to get... Oh, that is asking for trouble! That looks a good ball. And that's been levered clear. And the through ball is intercepted. Has a goal! Just sails past the upright. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. of endeavour from either side but not much of it in the vicinity of either goal well they could have had a bit more joy earlier if they'd varied their game and, and played a longer ball forward I think this is looking much more promising now gets it upfield interception good challenge he just stood firm gets it back Sharawi and that's the end of that it all started well enough and he's certainly caught him there it's a free kick and no surprise that's a booking well, the protest continues but in the end they are defending the indefensible yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then.
And he's going to Rex. Hit low and direct. Goes direct to the front line. He gets past his man. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to... Has a pop! Away from immediate danger. Oh, good delivery. Almost the perfect outcome. Waslan Beverin can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Five minutes till the break. Sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. They've played it short. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. it forward he's pinged one through here and he's away going for goal and we've reached half time so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means so we reach the halfway point a very entertaining half, Peter. Uh, the game's been played at a, a really good intensity. It's been open. It's um, been quite end-to-end, -end, and I think the crowd are really immersing themselves into this, and I just hope we get more of the same in the second half. Something to look forward to. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're just set. looking for goal! Just off target. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Vassal and Beveren are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Sharawi has a hit. <laughs> Sharawi. 
hoists it forward. Waslan Beveren making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. He's there to real chance! Clears it out of harm's way. He came in hard, very hard. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Al Sharawi. Shapes to shoot. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Well, Sharawi. He's gone for it! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Rouge making another change here. Bruges clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Offside, yes, it is. Baslan Beveren have it back, and they can go again. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Just brushed off the ball there. 
Gets his foot in there. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. The changes then in quick succession. Rouge and a free kick. And Percy was in the eleven for the last game. Very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. And it's hoisted clear. He's good for it. It's good distance on it. And it's played forward. An adventurous run from a defender. Hurls himself at it! It's come back out! Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Rapidly approaching the end, Rouge have been on a terrific scoring streak. And that's a foul, three kicks been given. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Tries to dink it in. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last flick. Of what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Finds himself eased off the ball. And it's Van Persie. Van Persie plays it out to the flank. Gets the better of his man. Trout calling for him to shoot. Hits one! He has done it! Finally, the deadlock is broken! Bruges are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Mm -hmm. 
Rouge take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. It is just a question of running down the clock now. It's a loose ball. And that is that. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end. But we do have a winner. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due. They found a way to win it, and they could take great satisfaction from uh, never losing that focus.